This might be the worst tier list ever made by a YouTuber ever. Christopher MD has ranked the best YouTube football moments ever in a tier list. I'm going to watch and I'm going to say whether I agree or not. And you guys can let me know in the chat as well. Is Chris waffling or is he speaking facts? Let's find out. Here we go. Come on, Chris. Speak to me. Thanks, my good friend Theo. These probably won't be the first YouTube football tiers you've seen, but I'll explain the concept for those who aren't. Great joke. Great joke to start. Familiar. Football videos on YouTube Beep have entertained me. us for a decade, and it is time to give some recognition for clips that have stood the test of time better than the W2S channel. We have 33 Damn. YouTube football moments. Okay, just straight off. Calux. What am I in? Am I in any of these? That's me. Can't see the ones behind, obviously. That one's me. Okay. And that's me. Let's go. Moments to go through Come today. On. That seemed the right cutoff. Point. Come on. And we are going to put them in the tiers of GOAT. Yeah. In the Louvre. Streets won't forget. Streets may forget and won't be remembered after 2030. Okay. So in no particular order, let's start I'm ready. with Simon Minter hitting the best Premier League midfielder of all time in the face with a Rabona. I'm um, if this... Ain't goated, I swear. If this ain't goated, I won't do anything, but this has to be. Oh! <laughs> it's so good. My favorite thing about this is how many replays Man City used in the edit of their video. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> Six replays, that is insane. Imagine being the world's best midfielder and getting in the face with a Rabona by someone with pink hair looking like a woman in her 40s having a midlife crisis. However, like... Yo, what the fuck? Chris, this is... That was just a bit mean. Kevin De Bruyne and Abu Dhabi, I feel like I need a tear. I don't think it's GOAT, and I don't think- HUH?! Nah, he hates me, he hates me. First he insults me, and now he ain't putting that GOAT! I hit De Bruyne in the face! We can start off with GOAT, but certainly hang it in. Nah. Got a very strong start, and we will watch Kevin De Bruyne's career keenly to see if he develops dementia at any point. I'm just saying, he's been the best since then. I'll, I'll, I'll say it. I've said this every time and I'll say it again. You see, uh, if anyone's ever watched Space Jam, you know how, like, they they touch the basketball and their powers, like, their skill level goes into the basketball and then they give it to them and then that person got it. I kicked the ball and all my skill went into the ball, hit the post, hit him, and then he took my skill. Just saying. That's why he got that little bit better. Next up, we have KSI. I'm upset. I'm upset. <laughs> It's just bullying, isn't it? it? Like, it literally, it literally is just bullying. This... <laughs> that is just a nasty, angry <laughs> It's <man>. so mean. <laughs> the, the, mic, the way the mic goes flying. That is fantastic, isn't it? Just by that, I'm looking at a Vic Star football video that's got 1 million views more than my highest viewed video ever. <laughs> really me. But take emotion out of it. I think, as mean as that is... Streets may forget. I think so. Streets may forget, personally. Where are we putting that clip? I think streets may forget. Uh, there may be side fans on to me. We might nah, visit that I one, agree. I think because it's an old clip, the nostalgia sort of it, it sways you. You don't it. think of it immediately. Maybe, maybe you don't like, I mean, if you think football clip, you don't think of it immediately. Just salty about Vic Star having more mentions in the tier Gio, list. thank you for three months. Football best moments ever than I do. We'll leave it there for now. But next up, we have me flicking the ball over Robert Perez and uh, Jimmy Carragher. <laughs> Better be careful not to celebrate this one too much. Just get down the top. But he turns his mind, but I'm not gonna lie. Horrible <laughs> sliced clearance. Good skills. Oh, oh, <laughs> You're on fair as Jamie Garrigan. You are just the uh, little Okay. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I've forgotten it. I wasn't even aware of this one. That's what I'm saying. If this isn't bottom tier. Is. And Jamie said so to me, to be fair. I've said this in videos before, oh. but Jamie literally went past me afterwards and went, you fucking little 
I'm still stunned Jamie Carragher didn't put me in an ambulance there. Like, it's just baffling. Against two of the greatest Premier League players ever. Fucking hell, I'm a bit good at football, aren't I? Right, where are we putting that? Um, am I being too biased if... to say streets won't forget? No, I'm going streets won't forget. Streets that have iconic. forgot. That's absolutely iconic. Streets I have forgot, Chris. I'm sorry. Says. Well, I think it's safe to say we all just lost a bit of respect for you there. This is a bit of a niche one, but I felt it's like gone. it needed to be uh, in here. It's already gone. OG watchers of YouTube football. This video Streets never knew. <laughs> plays football. If you're looking for a cheap, reliable place to buy coins, go check out HC Oh, we're all just such a bunch They give rainbow here, flip. Don't we? <laughs> this video is one minute and 27 seconds long. How times have changed. This give rainbow flick is actually... <laughs> My favorite thing about these videos is like the this is one of the cleanest I've ever seen. Had back in the day, you can just tell did not want to be there. Like Simon in JJ's old videos, except he was like the the leech that you just can peel off ever. Well, <laughs> goes. Right, two jokes already. Two jokes and didn't go my moment. I'm starting to sense a little bit of tension here. You know, what's happening? Let go. <laughs> this is one of the <laughs> cleanest <laughs> rainbow flicks I've ever seen oh, in my man. life. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's actually such a good rainbow flip. It's so well executed. Not, not, not compared to this though. <laughs> <laughs> Just an excellent, excellent one minute and twenty-seven seconds video. Right, where are we putting him? This might. Streets may forget. I'd be harsh on him, and I love the clip, but I think it's probably our first won't be remembered after twenty thirty. Uh, Sorry, Ali. I'm not Fuck mad with it. <laughs> This next clip, probably one of the best moments of my life, loading up this one on the YouTube homepage. Up next, we have Theo Baker collabing with Mia Khalifa on YouTube. Streets won't clarify. forget. Full bit football challenge versus Mia Khalifa. The Streets won't forget this one. Came up on my YouTube. I think the the weirdest thing about it is the fact that he's still doing like the whole yo guys and welcome to another video. Very much child friendly content <laughs> with the most famous porn star that's ever lived. <laughs> Baker man, he's completed life with a soccer ball. This is streets won't this forget. The first time I've touched one. Right Brilliant. Now, She's actually, to be fair, getting in happy. with the jokes. I'm not, I'm not sure I ever watched this. I think I just think the thumbnail was where I reached completion. I wasn't even looking at her. Come on, Theo, get working those balls. <laughs> Honestly, the world is upside down. That's what everyone thought when this video came out. The world <laughs> is upside down. Jesus Christ. Right, we're not oh gonna my watch. God. I don't think I've ever watched the entirety of a Theo Baker video. <laughs> For me, that's that's up there. I love how Theo's changed the thumbnail as well. Where is he putting Maybe that? Should have kept the hair from five years ago. I'll be honest with you. I think this is hanging. In the no. Way. The cultural impact that that had, like the achievements of YouTube. Football I'm sorry. No it, it's streets I won't forget. Encapsulated by that event, just perfectly. Next up, we have Mr. Harry Rotashaw going and beating Cristiano Ronaldo literally in his backyard oh, and then shushing him, which I still can't believe he did. Like, what a Part of me wants to put this in GOAT because what it is. It's where he scores the penalty and as he shoots does this. Part of me wants to put it in GOAT because it's, think of what he's just done. But I feel like it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't get brought up 21 much. 21 million views. How's it going guys? And welcome to a garden penalty challenge with my little brother, um, but wait, uh, we need a goalkeeper. You're the youngest. You got a goalkeeper. <laughs> That's so cool. What an intro, Harry. What? I, I hate that this man doesn't make like football videos anymore, or just videos, really. Like, the lowest this can I don't go. Think we'll be able to show the music, but we'll put something over it. Like, look at that. <laughs> what? It's just insane. The lowest it can go is hang it in the lube at the top. Yeah, we'll have some sort of different music over it, but obviously in the actual video, it's the Titanic music. I can't believe Ronaldo didn't have him killed on the spot. It is ridiculous. I think there's only one place that this clip can go, and I think it has to be go. You, you, it does it? It doesn't Fair. get better than that. Well, I suppose shushing men. Next up, we have Simon Minter scoring from the go. halfway line in the first. Halfway line goal. Streets may forget. I'm going to put it there. Sidemen match. I seem to remember this was just as we got back in the game, and then this sad man just decided to score from the halfway line because he can. The most frustrating thing about this is it's filmed so bad. That's badly. why. Whoever the director was or who was in charge of cameras nah. that day just utterly fucked one of the best moments we've had in YouTube history. Yeah, he does the copy guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whenever I watch this clip, I always just think it's about how perfect. weird this like laugh is from Simon. Like, it, it's like it wasn't a laugh, brother. He's the goat of YouTube football matches. I looked at someone and they went. I think it was. I think it was like Toby, and he was like, ah, and I was like, ah. That was it. It wasn't me laughing. I think that's goat as well. That's no, what is this list? Is he an idiot? No, that one, the highest that one would be is Streets Won't Forget. The KDB moment went way more viral, did way more stuff than that. This one, the reason I would put it Streets Won't Forget, but the camera angles fucked it down to Streets May Forget. Being too humble, I'm not, because that fucking De Bruyne one is goated. <laughs> I'm not being humble. One of those moments that you won't repeat in a lifetime. Uh, we've started off very quickly with two of the goat clips, but I, I, I think nah, that's he's yeah, on he's... To speeds reducer. As this is a whack list. Like the first 15 seconds against KSI. The amount of streets won't forget game. this. Just unbelievable. Two minutes. Yeah. Oh! Absolutely. Streets won't forget. <laughs> Such a bad attack. JJ did very well to just laugh it off. I must say, I did not think that man was. I might have to do this tier list on, on MM7. Sure enough to. All right, people are saying ads. We'll wait a second. Amazing moment. Uh, it, this definitely ain't goated because as as good as it is, it's a tackle. I don't think it's. Streets won't forget. Is like a. Yeah, this is this is streets won't forget. I mean, it could be, it could be hanging in the Louvre, but I think streets won't forget. Honestly, you're right. KDB moment is literally everywhere, even if they don't know you. Yeah, I start getting tagged as other people. Like they start going like Joe Weller goes viral, kicking KDB in the face. The, uh, yeah, the actual clip off. isn't even like. Him as like a younger brother. I don't know. In the way that that's what he. Cal Freezy like kicks in KDB. The old KSI sort of era. Just yeah, like the Joe Weller one was annoying. Right, where we put Because it's like, I've never been. Streets may forget. It's not like iconic. Nah, iconic streets won't forget. Still, it was funny. <laughs> oh, we've got a good clip coming up for you now, guys. It's still probably the best moment of my life. <laughs> Let me set the scene. One it's 1-0. 90th minute, Josh, in front of 27,000 people. Such a good goal. What a moment. The crowd are just not celebrating at all. That game was so bad. See, but this is why people always go, people always say, oh, like you need better players. Oh, why do you get bad players? When we, these were probably the best two teams. And it ended in a 2 0 game. Boring. Because they're all Sidemen fans. <laughs> this is probably the worst Sidemen match for everyone watching. What? Yo! Mason with the 50 gift card! Can we get some love in the chat for Mason? Oh my. Mason, please stop. Ban him. Ban Mason. <laughs> Don't ban him. Bruh. Mason, Mason, Mason. No, please don't. If you are going to do any more, save it for the 26th. Doing a charity stream. Please, please. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that a lot. Damn. 50 gifted subs, you know. Can we get a whole wall of W's in the chat? Let's get a whole wall of W's. Thank you so much, Mason. I do appreciate it a lot. Uh, Ellie, thank you for the bits. Your 50 subs alert sound is so scary. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, to be fair, you're only saying it's really bad because you lost as well. No, I know. You're doing that. You're baiting me, aren't you? You're baiting me. If we won 2 now, I'd still be pissed. You're, you're trying to bait me, right? Don't tell me that's serious. You just wouldn't. What? No, I genuinely... It, look, even when we scored... What was one of the games? One of the games, we were like 1-0 up after 20 minutes. And I literally... I started talking to their strike. I can't remember who it was. Started on their defenders or their striker, whatever it was. And started saying like this shit, like we need goals. I don't care who it is. I tell our team to play further forward. You would say it was a decent game. I would not. 2-0 is so dry for a charity match. And one of the first goal was in the first six minutes. And the last goal was in the 89th minute. Wouldn't a tough match be good? If you want to watch, like, if you want to watch good football, right? Go watch football. Go watch the Premier League. Go watch all of that. You're watching a charity match. You just want to see, like, your favorite people, like, speed, have moments. 
Seven seven go to pens would be sick. The eight seven. The eight seven game is the best game by a mile. Buzzy, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you so much. Damn. And I'm just saying that that game, the eight seven. I got a moment, obviously scoring the winner from like forty yards. Very sick. But if Theo had scored that free kick right at the end and it had gone to penalties, could have been insane. Like that would have been unreal. Scores a free kick in the like ninety fifth minute, goes to penalties in front of R. Oh. The eight seven game was goaded. I agree. I agree. All right. But for me, it was fucking brilliant. This goal, it is an amazing goal. That on repeat for the rest of his life, mate. Wow, we. What a moment. What a man. What a career. I'm not gonna lie. This is bottom two. It's gotta be high, right? It's no. I'm probably being biased. Buzzy, can I think we give the top? I think this is hang it in the Louvre. Horror. Horror. Horror list. Brother, Josh has missed the ball. And then you've taken it inside Josh and Jamie and taken it outside Jamie and scored. It's a great goal. Jesus. But I like, think it's hang it in the Louvre. It's not top tier, but I think it's hang it in the Louvre. Am I being harsh on myself there? I'm oh trying my to God. think of it from the perspective of not a horrifically egotistical man. No, I think hang it in the Louvre. I don't think that's go. It is humble. I need you to stop talking, man. Anyway, enough. That is insane. This guy is Delulu. Where are we? I, I think that's potentially. What are we saying? Streets may forget. I feel like no one's going to remember that goal. You'll go. You'll think it, it is bottom, isn't it? I think it might be bottom because realistically, you'll go like at 2030. You'll go. Oh, remember the Simon charity matches and you'll pick out four or five moments. That's definitely not one. I always say to people, I go, oh, remember the one we, uh, you know, the, the one that didn't have many goals. And they go, which one? What? What, what was that? And I go, the 2-0. Like, uh. And then you have to say, oh, the one where Castro scored a header and then Chris scored in the last minute. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The humbleness. Here's another clip of me. I think I'll just let this play. Ah, uh, this one is. It deserves it. This one is unreal to That's be fair. channel. Oh. Thing is. Some of Jamie's best work. This is this is such a good goal. Like this is one of the best goals on YouTube. And the I edit is sick. A thousand shots and never hit. I, I could take ten thousand shots and not hit one as good as that again. That goal is unbelievable. But as a it's moment, the in the world as well. Hmm. That was one of the best goals I've ever scored in my entire life. Ow. Thomas, thank you so much. <laughs> Simon's out at the end. What scares me? Yeah, I'm not quite tall enough, Thomas, are you? Now he needs the growth hormones, eh? <laughs> hey, hey, Dad, eh? Yeah, against the tallest goalie in right, well, FIFA. That. It's it's the best goal, but as a moment, it's just in a random video, you know. Hang it in the Louvre is different to me than Streets Won't Forget. Streets Won't Forget is like an iconic moment that's like. Oh, that was sick. It doesn't need to be amazing. It just, it was sick. Everyone remembers it. Whereas Hang It In The Louvre needs to be like a thing of beauty. Like that goal to me is Hang It In The Louvre. But the moment is, streets may, may forget. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably, I guess I'd put it in streets won't forget. I don't think that's that high. I actually think it's possibly won't be remembered after 2030. I mean, I was comic, being nice, but, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, it deserved a miss. Streets okay, may next up, we have a bit of a weird one that technically is... Andre, thank you for the 26 months. I, I don't... I, I don't know. Fridgey, thank you for the 22 months. And Dainty, thank you for the four. Like a YouTube football moment right, what in itself. Saying? But Kieran deserves a mention for the fact he got 50 million views on one video. I remember what, looking at his social blade. He got 125,000 subscribers in one day from this video. Damn! And it crippled me. <laughs> no, like, it's a good video, but 50 million views is just heritage. I'm sure even Kieran still is doesn't ridiculous. know why it got that many. But let's, let's have a view. Okay, so the first shot is the Royce blindfolded crossbar shot. Let's try it out. Bloody hell, he did that quickly, actually. <laughs> see, see that's, that's classic there. I've been done by YouTube editing. <laughs> I, I, I really should know this. 
Is 125k a yeah, lot for a single video? Yes. Video. Like an ultimate team episode, but did it get 50 million views? I'm such an angry little man, aren't I? Anyway, I think Kieran gets a mention. 50 million views. He, he gets a mention just for managing. Yeah, to the mention is nice. Garrett should be in this list, but let's move on. Where are we putting Kieran? The video? mention's I nice, but won't be remembered. Kieran's video I'm sorry. gets a mention, but like yeah. I said, I don't think he would. Uh, he, he would put it in his top 10 Kieran Brown videos of all time. I wouldn't have thought. Next up, we have Speed's disallowed goal in the 2022 Sidemen match. About three miles offside. What a finish, by the way. Streets won't forget. Streets won't forget. I was so worried for the safety of the officials when he turned around. After they announced Because of well, this stuff, like Clambo taking the shirt off, it, running moment, after him. I think that might be him. Streets won't forget. Yeah. I think that's, that is a heritage YouTube agree, football agree. moment. Speed still hasn't scored in a YouTube football match, right? He's trying his fucking best, bless him. Right. Oh, He's ooh, missed the penalty ooh, and then an offside goal. <laughs> Next up, we have Ethan being bodied by Harry in the Sidemen Total Wipeout Football Challenge. Amazing that moment. Some doing back but this day. is... This is 20 uh, won't be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he looks like this is bottom so tier. <laughs> he was in a lot of pain, to be fair. <laughs> He's such a danger to society, that Thomas, they got a 15 <laughs> months. said that, let's put it in goat tier. No, it's not goat tier, but it's. Um, oh, it could be streets. Streets won't forget. What? Vic getting. Hit over with streets may forget. I think that has to be streets. Yeah, streets won't forget for that one. Streets, streets, streets. We won't forget them. Next up, we have Vic do it. Sorry, I that. I think I think both this one, Vic getting hit by JJ with the ball and uh, Ethan getting knocked over. I think are both won't be remembered. I'm sorry. It is an iconic one to be fair. Ah, it it is, but no one's forgotten it. This is 2030, lads. We're talking six years' time. The unpaid workers. This comes from JJ's original crossbar challenge video, which is on 58 million views. One of my favorite videos that has ever graced the upload button at YouTube. Are you broken? I don't know if we'll be able to show the audio in this. I don't think we will. <laughs> this one. I'm, I'm still trying to work out who said that. Harry. It was Harry. <laughs> Top comment on this video as well Ooh. is Vic. <laughs> I did it for the unpaid workers nine years ago. I think that streets won't forget. Yeah, streets Ooh. won't forget. They have streets won't forget. It could be hanging in the Louvre, you know. I don't think it can go fully coated. I think it's hanging in the Louvre. Come on, Simon. What? He's put it in streets won't forget. I I would personally go hang it in the loop. Next up, we have my Cristiano Ronaldo Portsmouth free kick recreation. I lost Streets may forget. Fucking days of my life to this, and I'm it sorry. caused me to have ankle surgery. <laughs> like, look at the divot this has taken out of the pitch. So this was my old Sunday league football pitch. I think to this day there is still a divot out of the pitch. Big fans won't hate on you no more. Well. Right, it's part it. of a bigger video. The fact I just bought some Astro turf and stuck it on the pitch. It's a way better idea. Because you think you make smash it, do you? He smashed it into the back of the net. Now, to this day, that is the best goal recreation I've ever done. The way the ball actually moved from... Oh, like that is so off. nice. Ray, thank you for the gift of sub. So sick. Ronaldo's actually has a bit of top spin on, so I, I, I didn't actually do it perfectly. Oh. Right. Let's get back. <laughs> Let's get back to the fortress. Run it back. Just for football ability. That is that is one of the best things I've ever done. That voice break wasn't. Theo Baker could never. Simon probably could. It's not that <laughs> high up there. So I think streets may. Yeah. It comes up on TikTok every like month or so though and does like 50 games. Yeah. So I, I think telling myself that, that, that is fair. Still has a bigger legacy in YouTube football. Right. Next up we have R.I.P. The boy himself. Smudge. Streets won't forget. This went viral. Me and Smudge had so much fun filming this. That streets won't forget. It's so good. I'm, I'm, I'm still probably most proud of this over anything I've ever created. I still do see him, by the way, every couple of months. So as declared by the judge. He got 300 million views on all platforms. If I Mad. That a May out, yeah, maybe uh, Louvre, you know. The James Corden show had it as well. What the hell? 84,000 retweets is fucking silly, isn't it? Oh, I haven't had, fuck's sake, I haven't had my other lights on in the background. I haven't even had the boy lit up in this entire video. 
There he is. Oh, wow. In all his glory. No, it's such a difference. Place. Right, where are we putting Smudge? I think Smudge it is... It might be Lou. Yeah, Streets won't forget him. <laughs> Neither will I. Next I, up, I, get, the I get Streets won't... Uh, streets won't forget is fair. I would have accepted Lou. G moments and... Uh, it's time to smash it. I'm oh sorry, I go I'm protected. <laughs> <laughs> JJ just drops the end bomb on Simon's channel. Simon kept it in. Time to smash it. Oh, he's allowed to say, is he not? <laughs> Alicia, thank you for 37 months. Knuckleballs as well. That might be the OG YouTube football moment, actually. Ooh. There's an argument for GOAT here. There really is. But can we allow Simon two clips in GOAT? Yes! He probably is the GOAT of YouTube. Where well, is he? Theo and Mia Khalifa is not the same level as Time to Smash It. It's going in GOAT. I'm putting it in GOAT. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I think it has to be up there. Cultural impact taken. How is this one there? This half line one shouldn't. This halfway line shouldn't be there. That one is the. That is, that is has to be goated. Into account, it has to be there. Strap in for this one. We got Stephen tries versus the F two. Emily David, a thirteen months. This isn't so much a moment, but more of a saga. So let's take a look at the oh. of their, uh, interactions together. This is now saga. Named XO versus the best on the ball player. <laughs> what is your favourite sexual position? The hungry professor. <laughs> Everyone's favourite move. And what is the hungry professor? Oh, just, just nutting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the nutty professor. For the hungry. <laughs> <laughs> fact, I don't think Billy Jeremy Street. reacted any differently oh. to any other like high profile. I I think sadly streets may forget. It's sad that it is, but oh, person with a brand when presented to praise the nutty professor. <laughs> then we had the F2 diss track before the Wembley Cup final. Again, I won't be able to show the song because Stephen is just intent on earning no money from his <laughs> job. Nah, that's not me. Act like a wet wipe in your Audi. Injured again, yeah, that's Billy. Plugged it up on BGT. That, like, it's, it's, it's excellent. It is excellent. Anyway, the Wembley Cup final happens. Uh, F2 win. Jeremy, I seem to remember, went in quite hard on a tackle on Steve even at one point, and then after the game. Sort of in the, the after party. And I'm stood up with Kieran Carlin, just talking to him. And then Jeremy Lynch comes over with his little mate. And, oh, God. And he's going, I think my mate's funnier than you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, let's take a look at the footage that was released after this podcast. Oh, Fantastic this work clip. from whoever released this. Honestly, the raw uncut footage of this is one of the worst things I think that has ever come out of the YouTube This was bad. In 20 years of its existence. My friend is getting a Lambo. It's, it's, it's mental. Regardless of being a homophobe. Look, okay, Stephen, like, let's just put my it's homophobic so... views aside for one second. Let's continue the roast. That was my favourite moment, I think, from everything. Watching the uncut footage of Man Like Hacks and Stephen going at it, it was it was just an absolute demolition. Like, oh, Stephen is the one man. He's the last yeah, man. Yeah, I'd never ever go at Stephen. In any one? sort of, like, roasting. But not only is he, like, hilarious, oh, Stephen's oh, just so nice. Going? Mate, if you do a tweet and you get 100 likes, maybe I'm not lying to Fuck your tweet and your shit, you scrub. You're dead. You're dead, but relax, man. Don't touch me. <laughs> so he starts replying as a roast, and then halfway through, just gets angry and goes, "Fuck your tweet. Fuck you, man. You're dead." Where is that? A hundred likes. Lost all well. respect from the crowd. Is everything alright? Is everything alright? I don't know why. There was an excellent bit where Man Like Hacks goes, uh, "No one's." I find it so funny that Brian comes in to support Stephen, but pushes him far, far out come to here to see you play they've all come here to see the f2 and steven went yeah because i've seen loads of man like hack signs around the stadium <laughs> such utter head loss at a charity match it's just amazing <laughs> and then the whole you know monster what? The boy's got the result. debacle that's, the, that's, the that's what happens when you get a premier league rep who's not on spencer's payroll oh! fact he's going at spencer who's like like arguably to the football community that maybe the second most important person after jj but for those of us I'm watching, saying, just Spencer phenomenal did such like Spencer did such good things. Like the first, the first YouTube event I think that I remember, the Wembley Cup. Like Spencer is YouTube heritage or YouTube football heritage. Right, I think we're gonna need a decision. Where are we putting the Clash of the Titans? I think hang it in the Louvre. It's not goat, but it's. I it's... I, I it to me that mo that stuff was incredible but i think it's streets may forget i feel bad saying that but yeah right up there 
in terms of entertaining the masses. I've talked about cultural impact quite a lot with a lot of these different tiers. Somehow Stephen Tries accidentally destroyed the world's largest <laughs> football YouTube channel. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> From one piece of Wembley Cup heritage to another, we now have bits and shorts falling down. Defense. What a moment. I'm not sure. Uh... Somebody's taking his string out of the shorts to Jordy. What an absolute icon. It's Brian's oh my god. Bateson's showing his pace. Oh my god. This oh could my, be the oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Hey! Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are currently uh disputing Chris MD's tier list. Somebody's <laughs> taking his string. Oh. Close up. That's the slow pan up. I think this might have to be bottom tier though. As iconic as a moment it is, I don't think yeah. we can put it too high in this list. So I think it's gonna have to be what yeah. be remembered after 2030. No, I will remember it after 2030, but I think I'm in the minority. The 26th Wembley Cup actually had so many different famous moments. Probably only fair to Theo to show this off. This is minimum <laughs> hang it in the loop, in it? Really it does kind of get tackled there really and then takes it round Carrie. Really done is go past Carragher though, realistically. Theo Baker, Malfoy. Imagine what are we saying? One of the best goals ever at Wembley Stadium though, and that being the celebration. Like, he's lost control of the ball there. Poet really should, Poet really should tackle him. I mean, look at him. He's pretty pointless. And, oh, oh Carragher, where are you going? Day. And he's been desperate to score. Are we gonna give him this? Oh, I think we probably should. And that has to. We're be gonna go. I mean, it was vote. It was voted right best goal of at Wembley that year. Well, yeah, I feel like it has to that be. Is for that is probably the greatest goal that's been scored in a YouTube football match. We can always revise. We can always revise. Next up, fantastic. Does this really need to be in here? Is this really <laughs> one of the greatest moments ever in YouTube football history? You can see a tiny body. It's Chris MD. You can see a tiny body. It's Chris MD. Look at that. He's <laughs> halfway to the halfway line. I haven't even finished the run up and he's closer to the ball than I am. Oh, he's saving it anyway. Who am I kidding? I was going to say, it's horror him. penalty regardless. It's him. You is it is the hero. Right, fantastic. Well, we got that over with. Uh, I scored the winner in the game the year later, guys. No, you so didn't. We lost 2-0. The 1-0 really was the winner. Is the real winner from that. I don't care, honestly. I don't care. I think for me flicking it over Perez and character is there. Where are we saying for that one? Streets may forget. Streets won't forget. Uh, would I ever take a penalty in a charity match? I would. I wouldn't want to. I, I'd have. I'd rather give it to someone else. Streets may forget, won't forget. Yeah, I think it's won't forget just because it's like whenever Chris does something, it's always brought up. Yeah, I think the streets won't. I, I think it probably has to be in streets won't forget. <laughs> Frustratingly, streets may forget. Let's do streets may forget. Otherwise, I might cry. Next up, we have KSI finally meeting Emil Heskey at the Wembley Cup. 2017 after many years of calling him a sexual offender in front of millions. It is a complete honour. I know I've done a lot of shit. JJ must have ruined this man's <laughs> life for three or four years. I apologise for everything. I apologise for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Emil Heskey is an extremely understanding and reserved man <laughs> for all the shit that JJ has brought upon his life. I wonder, like, what the first steps in Heskey becoming aware of how JJ is portraying him in videos. Like <laughs> yeah, you've seen this like, video about you. Oh, someone's done a video about me. That's sick. Like, are they are they using me in Ultimate Team? Kinda. Heskey door. <laughs> It was day, so like, bad. Like they're just around the breakfast. first video he sees is him <laughs> just saying Heskey. On school today, kids. And <laughs> Molest people. Have you seen this video of KSI and GWT calling you a rapist? Anyway, I think that has to be pretty high up. I think that's, that's streets won't forget mm, as well. That moment, if we're only talking about that moment, I think it won't be remembered after 2030. If you're talking the whole KSI Heskey stuff, hang it in the loof. Or streets won't forget. But... That's a really just full circle moment. But as a culture, I, I I felt more fulfilled. I felt like it didn't it didn't do what it was Cliff meant Callum's to do that moment. Famous Pussy destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he say that? 
that? <laughs> that looks has Nintendo me eyes. Right. Streets won't forget. That. I think it's the street Nah, streets won't forget, won't forget that. I don't think it's quite up with the others. Next we have a video by Joe Weller, which is Cristiano Ronaldo picking up girls. I remember finding out that the entire Real Madrid squad had seen this. Like, Ronaldo definitely saw this video. Joe's taken it down now, I presume, because I, it's so obviously staged. The girl that Chill, thank you for the sub. kisses as Ronaldo, but I presume because he goes for a kiss on the cheek and then turns and goes for a kiss on the mouth. But it is privated, along with the World Cup song, but that video will not be making this list. <laughs> The cultural impact of Joe Weller Hola. was yeah. really underappreciated, I think. Back in the I day, agree with that. this man's hold over young boys in the UK, could have phrased that better, oh, yeah. it was a <laughs> Muy bien, muy bien. That was very good. Um. <laughs> Yeah, in hindsight, it's, it is a little uncomfortable. To <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Still, it did get like 70 million views or something. I swear it got an insane amount of views. So I think it has to be in stream. Ah, I'd agree with that. I agree with that. For Cristiano Ronaldo to actually see that video is, is, is some achievement. I mean, some of us have actually filmed with him in person, but <laughs> there's levels to this game. If Next up, we have Harry. Yo, Chris talks way... I know I'm literally pausing it to talk more, but in those kind of shoots... Chris talks way too much. From in that Man City one, we had 15 minutes and his intro was eight. Falling off his roof in Garden Football Challenges. No, rooftop football challenges, sorry. Of course, there's so many installments in the Football Challenge sagas on the WS channel back in the day. This was peak Harry. Bless him, he's just essentially a glorified alcoholic these days. This video is on 36 million views. Harry just had a few of these videos where like- you few? Your sub box. Every them, single one. And they would be on like 10, 15 mil already. It was just ridiculous. Even as someone who had skills in video editing, I was so baffled by this. I, I tried to work out for ages if this was real or not. It's very well done, but he must have put a trampoline below him. Or I guess he might have put cardboard boxes there yeah, as I think well. Yeah, boxes, that a few times. right? Maybe I should ask him. Do you know what? For this video, let's ask him. I will find out for you. Hello, Chris. To answer your question, <laughs> uh, the video is not edited. Uh, it's just there's a trampoline on the ground. Oh, it's a trampoline. Um, so that when I jumped off, I landed Why on the trampoline. Why is it like um, this? Not the floor. Uh, it still hurt. It was still quite a height, but yeah, it wasn't um, it wasn't life ending. But yeah, to answer your question, <laughs> nice one, mate. See you in a bit. I want to thank you. <laughs> it's probably streets, mate. Forget it's. It's not a core part of. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Streets may forget. YouTube football, and let's face it, more iconic clips of people getting hurt have happened in that garden. <laughs> Moving on to a volley by Connor, who was my editor for a series of years, and he saved a video with this. So this was best goal of the video, becomes an NFT, and we were trying to hit a volley from the edge of the box here for not even that long, actually. Maybe like two, three hours. And this is pretty much the only chance I've given him on a pitch in front of the camera. In, in trainers. Unbelievable goal again. First, first attempt. It's actually like. It right, is. I, that's one of the. Ah, but the. Th oh my god, I almost fell over. It is. It's it's an insane goal, and the fact that he did it first time and everything. But it the is best bottom goals tier. Never been scored in a YouTube football video, and to do it first try is. It might be hang it in the Louvre. It's not. It can't be, can it? It can. No, no, it's not. He took one shot on camera and arguably scored a better yeah, we're goal not, than I ever have. We're not rating this based on goals, hence, you know, like this is in Hang It in the Louvre. That's a penalty from like six yards out. It's It won't be remembered after 2030, and I, I hate Ten to say that. Of but. Football content. Streets Won't Forget, I think, is the acceptable choice for that one. It's the final six moments, and next up we have Vix. Penalty Based on the moments, yeah. Match. Vic penalty. <laughs> this is goated. Against you, Wizzy. <laughs> he still scores. As I say, Chris missed how, against you, Wizzy. How does he make the run up to a penalty look awkward? This is goated. <laughs> it's so good. What a moment that was. Pretty sure, like at Vic's house, he has a, a big photo of that on the wall. Oh. World class. <laughs> that is better than world class. I think that. 
Yeah, he has absolutely sent you. Though. I he think that. To to the left and just sent you as he to the shops. What a fucking phenomenal moment. That should be that was. number it's right up there, isn't it? It's top two. I think it's hang it in the loop, but 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 hear me out. I think because the open play goal is superior. But we'll get to that immediately. Nah. Nah. This is the this is the most ass list ever. That that's number one on GOAT, by the way. That was number one on GOAT. <laughs> Alright, looking at our next clip. Simon to Vic. The fact, like, this is the only goal that's been scored in one of our YouTube football matches that has genuinely been celebrated by the entire crowd <laughs> like an actual football goal. Gunner, they got a prime. Jose, they got a prime. How has he done that? Like, look at the limbs. There's actual limbs. Admittedly, Cal the Dragon read the script, but to take the touch and put it in the bottom corner still. How has he done that? He is him. He knows. This moment is still, like, unbelievable. But this one... I mean, this one I'd I'd probably still put goat, but this one to me is more hang it in the Louvre. The other one is literally number one. The penalty is the number one. It's out of play in the big moments. He punishes you. <laughs> Girl, the dragon's genuinely fuming. Uh, that is a goal. The only a man with three numbers on his back could score. <laughs> what does that mean, Spencer? That has to be in goats here. There's only one place that can. Uh, this is so tap. This list. Now, nah, open play goal is so much harder than a pen. I'm not, but we're not basing these on skill. Look, Chris has put one of the best goals in Won't Be Remembered. It's not based on the skill, it's based on the moment. And his penalty had the moment of like, Vic has just scored a goal. This is unbelievable. What a phenomenal moment. <laughs> it's so funny that that is at the same level as Theo Baker's goal, but it has to be there in my book. And also at this point, I'm his first actually going to review yeah. Simon's um time to smash it I, I i i don't feel comfortable with him having two entries into the goat tier so i am going to bring that down into hang it in the louvre no! i don't think it's quite at the same level as those four. Oh shit we got some big decisions coming up next up we've got harry's first volley crossbar hit how many views this this boy has made one of the worst lists i've ever seen he's left in my halfway line goal take the halfway line goal out Taking time to smash it. Outrageous. On. 71 million views on this video. That's everyone. Now it's a free for all. <laughs> In terms of being one of the most recognizable clips to people across the nation who watch YouTube, it's, ooh, it's up there. I think it's... Yeah, I, I think it's hang it in the Louvre. It's not goat tier. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'd just like to say before this next clip, this was totally yeah. unrelated and not a factor into our relationship ending. I chose to uh, make a video in which <laughs> I defended my ex-girlfriend's car by putting some goalie gloves on. I'm not very well at that. Anyway, I gave them a one free shot. I, like, I kind of needed this for the video. TV is dead. So is our relationship. Jeez. I felt so bad after I did it. See, this seemed like a really good idea because I. Think <laughs> then we had to clear up all the glass. I was like, I will repair any damage. Like, obviously, I got her okay with it beforehand. I was like, I'll repair any damage that gets done to the car. We had to take it to a garage, deep clean twice, and still, there was one time we were driving along. This was maybe like a month later, and we turned on the aircon. Now, this at is in May Forget. Speed, and shards of glass just came flying out as I was driving. <laughs> it was genuinely terrifying. But it. It did make a funny video. If you have to risk your relationship to make this tier list, then so be it. I sort of felt like it wouldn't shatter into so many pieces, which was an oversight from me. To be fair, I think we need to see Shannon reacting to it as well. Can I just grab you to have a look at the footage, please, Shannon? <laughs> <laughs> taking a shot. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. I felt really awkward. I felt so bad there. Shannon genuinely started crying here as well. Shannon could fake cry. Like, obviously, she went and locked in and said that she could fake cry. But I don't think that was entirely for the video. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Please don't leave oh. me. I think that's up there. That's me. Streets, streets may forget. forget. Nah, streets, streets may forget that one. Let's be honest. Ooh, 
This video may be inappropriate for some users. Oh, so I probably won't be able to actually show you the blood in this video as Lewis has a great screenshot of Harry. Why does he look like an eagle? This is Lewis, one of the many friends of the Sidemen, running into a fence for content. I think Lewis can only blame himself. He, he's literally we all went for JJ. The fence. I don't know what he was expecting. We all just went for JJ and then... Oh, shit. <laughs> he just kind of ignored Lewis. Where is he running? The fact that he misses the first he one here. so well to miss this first post, because that would have been so much worse than running into a flat fence. Uh, it's still not great, is it? No. Oh. So, uh, that video ended slightly early, because... Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to blur that. If all the people who have been injured in W2S football videos gang together, there could be a fairly successful lawsuit. Well, he didn't earn any money from any of his videos, did he? Because he used copyright music for five years. This is stupid. Tweet. Where would you put oh, that? Chris, you use copyright music in your videos all the time. That it's one, um... Site called Licked, which means you can license it and still earn yeah, streets. Your videos. I, I don't have any sort of investment into that company, but probably should. I just enjoy it a lot. Streets, right, anyway, Lewis running into... Streets won't forget. Goal. Again, it's not right up there, but it is up there. I think it's another Streets won't forget. Right, yeah, two agree. left. Another moment from the 2016 Wembley Hub. We have Jamie Carragher having his way with Joe Weller in the changing rooms, but also bullying him on the pitch. Joe drops early. Watch. Now watch Carragher's right there. Is it right to left? This was actually mental at the time. Because I, I, I think... Like, I think someone must have... <laughs> <laughs> I think someone must have said to Jamie before the match that, like, this Joe Ellicott's a bit of a prick. Because he fully had a vendetta against him. And Joe didn't really do anything to him throughout the match. Like, yes, Ace, there's no way nothing happened there. before this. It's mental. <laughs> he's full on called him a stupid little prick there. Then elbowed the <laughs> I forgot how bad this was. Oh, it was fantastic content at a charity match. Theo has tried to McGeady spin him there. <laughs> For the majority of the game, I was in his back pocket. All oh, right, he's a professional footballer. All <laughs> oh, right. So it was but mate, like, wh why are you elbowing people in the face? Oh, come on, it's it's the Omega. It's fair <laughs> game. We'll probably put him out for six it? months. And when he did foul us, he wouldn't he wouldn't ever say sorry or even show an ounce of class. He would call us a <laughs> stupid little prick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we continue, I'm just going to show you my highlights from the game. Joe, those were your highlights, mate. I think Jamie Carrigan knew the assignment. He knew he was. Won't be concert. remembered. It's not like right up there. I'm though, sorry, that's why it won't be remembered. I think streets may forget, just purely because I'm running out of space. Oh, streets, yeah, streets may forget. Right. There. And finally, this brings us on to our final clip to rate in YouTube football this heritage is history. We all know what's coming. Go. Now, would I? Oh, the question is, would I put this number one or number two? Is this actually this would be number one? I think. It, I think my list, my list would go this. Vic's penalty. Time to smash it. We were actually skiing the other day, and Harry was on the holiday as well. And um, he was saying that we we were pronouncing his mum's name wrong, and we FaceTimed her, and she clarified how her name was pronounced, and then turned to me and went, "Chris, how many more times are you going to show me getting hit in the face in your videos?" And I went, "A few." I just can't believe she agreed to this. It's just like, how did Harry manage to convince her that his accuracy was that good? Oh. Um. Uh can we film a video together? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I really, yeah, I really don't get how she sat there and thought, okay, yeah, he'll just hit that. He'll just hit the cups and there's no. Again, another person there's, who's been injured yeah. in a W2S video. Right, I swear, he doesn't Harry, put this up And with there. that, that completes our tier list. Where am I putting that? It could be goat. I don't think it's quite goat. It's hang it in the loop. <laughs> Chris and D may have made the worst list. This might be the worst tier list ever made by a YouTuber ever. Oh, this tier list is a bit of a headache, though. Right, and there we have our tier list of the best YouTube Absolutely football moments Absolutely. Please do let me know if I've forgotten horror. any particularly obvious ones. I don't think I have. I did my best to try and cover all bases. Looking at the list now, by the way, KDB won. I'd still potentially argue GOAT, but top of hanging in the Louvre, I'm okay with. Time to smash it. Has to be go. Halfway line goal. Has to be moved down a couple. 
pieces. Let's just have a little look. Do we want to review and change any? I think I'm quite happy with this. We've given you some entertainment right. over the years, haven't we? We really have. And hopefully many more happy years to come until we all get too old and have to retire. Right. But I've, got, I've at least got another 10 years in me. Please do let me know if you disagree with any. If I had to pick a personal favourite, it's got to be Bates and Shorts falling down. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully not too long away. Look at this upload rate. I know. I know. Who is he? <laughs> hey. Look at us. There's... Yeah, I, I'm doing that on my second channel. I'm going to be doing that list on my second channel over an MM7 game. So, uh, yeah, make sure you check that out. Because that was horrific, Chris. Wow. I'm actually so upset with that list. The comments were as well. What the comments were... Yeah, someone put... Uh, Harry hitting his mum has to be go. Simon's halfway goal and time to smash it should be the opposite way around. Bro scored an exit goal in the 90th minute of the most anticlimactic sidemen match to ever occur and hung it in the Louvre. Taking time to smash it out of goat is sacrilegious. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's, that's outrageous. That list is horror.